Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Demon's Souls. So last time, we ran around Boletaria, almost died a whole bunch of times, somehow didn't, and we found a Kling Ring, which keeps our HP at 75%, I believe, when we are in soul form, which we are now, because the giant dragon punched me to death. And we saved a guy named Ostrava completely by accident, who I think may be royalty, because the merchant we were speaking to back there literally mentioned a guy who he thinks is royalty, he didn't say him by name, but I'm pretty damn sure he was talking about Ostrava. Oh, hey, buddy. What you doing there? Not very much. <laughs> oh, my God. But, uh, yeah, so I feel like Ostrava's... Wait a minute. Is this not where we dropped down and saved him? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, so we know we backtracked all the damn way. So let's go in the other direction. But, yeah, like I say, I feel like Ostrava is much more important to the plot than I actually realize at this point. I get the feeling he may be this game's version of Solaire or something. Don't quote me on that, but... I guess we'll see, eventually. Maybe we'll never see him again. I have no idea, and that nearly hit me. Okay, is there anything else around here? Doesn't look like it. Well, screw it, let's go kill the archer scumbags. Oh, next to Ostrava, we also found a thief's ring, which lowers the aggro range of... Okay. Nice try, buddy. Nice freaking try. Now die. Oh, we did. Thank you. But, so, yeah, we found a thief's ring, which uh, lowers the aggro range of enemies, so... I feel like between that and the cling ring... We actually have some pretty damn bowling rings going on here. Like, without those, I feel like we'd have way more trouble than we do, because as you can see, I have to be pretty much right up in the enemy's grill for them to actually be able to see me, which... Okay. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining about that. See ya, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this is probably a bad idea, but we're gonna try and parry the Black Knights. Damn it. You son of a bitch. I don't think he can... Okay. We're fine. Don't panic. But yeah, I don't think he can one-shot me from here, but we're gonna eat some grass just in case. Plus, we're probably gonna need to heal anyway, so we may as well just do it right away whilst we actually have the chance. Now, this time, we're gonna pa No, we're nuts. That's not good. Okay, let's go for a cheesy backstab. Plan B. Cheese him. Huh? Yes! Gotcha! <laughs> and get out of here! Right, now give me your booty and don't go in the fog gate by mistake. It doesn't look like a boss arena to me! But you just never know, so... Better to be safe than sorry. And what do you have? Some late moon grass. Again, I don't know if full or late is better. I would assume full. But who knows? Okay, are you a boss? You don't seem to be. Good. And there's a dead end over here randomly. Well, alright then. This whole section is a little bit too quiet. Trap ahead. Yeah, I, I kind of figured something was going down here. And there's random boulder buddies. Oh, and a metric butt ton of hollows. Or draglings. Are they even called hollows in this game? I don't know. I guess we'll call them draglings just to be... Ouch! Dick! Just to be politically correct. But this is what I'm saying about the thief's ring. I feel like if I didn't have that on, they'd probably all be aggroed on me by now, but... With this ring, we can, like, lure them out one at a time, which, again... I'm okay with that. It just... It feels like if we didn't have these rings, we'd be having such a shitty time right now. And, uh... I wonder if I can... Oh, I can! Oh, okay, I almost killed myself there. Or at least, I assume that would have killed me. That must be the trap. So I'm guessing something could have, like, activated that, and if I was down there, I would have no way of escaping, but... That was freaking amazing. That was, like, the greatest accidental kill of all time. Well, I guess, kills. Plural. And give me that booty. More grass. Good lord, we have a lot of grass. There's a great view... There's a dragon there! How did I not even see that? Okay. Is that the dragon that we saw on the bridge at the start? I think so. Which means, yes, we're gonna run into some shit later on with that guy. That's gonna suck. That's gonna suck horribly. Okay, I see a pathway up there, and that's a dead end. Oh, hello. How's it going? Oh, I killed him. Well, all right then. He dropped some booty. Ouch! Stop poking me. Hey, thank you. Any booty from you? No, you're a freeloader. Get out of my sights. Right, so, hey, okay, we can go down there. Half moon grass. Yummy! Right, the staircase in front of me looks kind of deadly as hell, so we're gonna go this way. Should probably check behind the pillars just to make sure there's no booty, otherwise, I'll be very disappointed and everyone will shout at me. Don't see any. Okay, good. At least now we know. Right, so what the hell is the deal out here? Oh, okay. That's the dragon I saw, and apparently there's another one. And some burning corpses. Well... I feel like this is going to be my doom, but we're going to risk it. We have the feast ring. I'm hoping that's going to help me here. I just want to at least grab the first piece of loot. There's so much booty over here. Don't see me. Da Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> Damn, screw that nonsense. I'm getting out of here. 
See ya, jerk. I guess we'll come back to that. It's not safe here. Yeah, no shit, buddy. No shit. Okay, like I said, we'll come back to that. Clearly, we are not meant to go that way right now. And, uh... <laughs> this guy's got his spear between his legs. <laughs> I shouldn't find that as funny as I do, but I do. I'm a man child, what can I say? Oh, God. What's going on here? That's a lot of fellas on the bridge. I, I don't like this blood as well. I don't like the look of this at all. Right, well, we can lure them out one at a time, so we may as well just do that and murder them horribly. I swear I can hear something. Hello? What the hell is going on? Oh, great, you have a crossbow. You dick. You Oh, holy shit, I see a dragon. Okay. <laughs> We're getting the crap out of here. Come down here. Oh, no, 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 no. Come down here, buddy. Come down. With the dragon gear. I... I'm so confused right now. I swear to God the dragon didn't do a damn thing. Everyone is still on the bridge and the game didn't lag to like 15 FPS, so... There was no fire. Maybe it only breathes fire if I... Ow, dicks! Oh God, I'm dying. Maybe it only breathes fire if I'm on the bridge at the time or something, so... Maybe I need to stand here a tiny bit longer. I guess we'll try that. Oh, it's coming back again, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is gonna get me killed, I can tell, but... I really kind of need to see if this is the... Yeah, okay, it's totally breathing fire. Yo, yo, yo. Get the hell out of here. I don't know how far it's going to go. It goes pretty damn far. Holy shit, run. Okay, I think we're fine. Jesus. Well, that's... Uh, what What are you doing? Really? You're doing it again? Get out of here, son of a bitch. I need to cross that bridge. <laughs> I'm not going the other way. This, there's dragons in every direction. I'd like to point that out. I still feel like this is the safer way. We just need to time it. Also, the problem being, there's clearly some kind of area of effect on that fire. It begins and ends somewhere, but I don't know where that is. Look at that guy's arm. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know where the fire begins and ends, so I don't know where it's safe, so... We're just gonna run like hell and hope for the best. Give me that loot. I should not have stopped for that. It's, it's gonna get me killed, isn't it? Oh, holy shit. Run. See, here's the thing. These guys aren't dead, so I'm assuming the fire doesn't go this far. Maybe because I'm over here, he'll turn around and do it in this direction. I don't know, but you live and you learn. And sometimes, oh, holy shit. Sometimes you die and you learn. Luckily, it looks like he only does in that direction. Maybe he'll swoop back again? I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Okay, it's going, I think. Give me that booty. Now, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, God, it's coming back. I forgot about that. <laughs> holy shit. Screw that bridge! Screw everything about that bridge. And I see some more loot down here, and a blood stain, Which kind of makes me concerned that there's some kind of a trap or an ambush. Doesn't look like it, though. I'm always worried when there's blood in random areas. Can I break this down? Uh, apparently not. That was worth a try. But yeah, I'm always worried that... Wait, what's that? Is that a lever? Yes, it is! Okay, what do you do, magical lever of mystery? Well, oh, that looks nice and inviting. I think I know where that is. That looked like the ginormous gate right at the beginning of the level, so I'm assuming that's gonna be our first boss fight. Okay. Nice try there, buddy. Nice try. Let's go for a poke attack of justice. Boom. Gotcha. Okay, there's another one here. Luckily, you, sir, are mentally slow. Can I parry you? No, I can't. God damn it. I really need to get better at the parry. He hit me again? Really? You son of a bitch. Yeah, I see some more booty over here. Ah, oh, this looks like the back of that door that I thought maybe we could smash down. Cool. I've got some turpentine. Don't hi. Yes. Don't know what the hell the turpentine does. I guess we'll check it out later. I should really read more item descriptions, because, you know, it's not Dark Souls, so there's some new stuff. Or it's some old stuff, I guess, technically. And we have yet more grass. We have grass out the ass, man. It's insane. Like, okay. Everyone in Boletaria is high as hell. You, okay. Yeah, I guess you can't really blame them, because there's demons everywhere. Yo, oh, okay, I'm burning. I'm burning. Run away. Run. Gil. 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 We're gonna run the hell back here and use some grass. Yummy! But yeah, what I was gonna say was, I guess you can't really blame them, because there's demons and shit everywhere. You gotta relax somehow. So, uh, yeah, apparently everyone's just high as shit. Come on, buddy. There we go. Ow! 
God, I hate the spear people. Like, I really hate the spear people. Oh my God. Stop doing that, you son of a bitch. Okay, it's dead. It's finally dead. Okay, who threw the firebomb at me? It was you, wasn't it? Oh, you son of a bitch. Die! You're not dying. Thank you. My God. Okay, so what the hell is going on around here? Apparently not very much. Oh, and there's a ginormous pit of doom and some fiery fellas. Well, great. Still haven't actually been hit by these dudes yet, so I don't know how to... Oh, God. I don't know how dangerous they are, but I'm just going to assume as dangerous as they are in Dark Souls. And that guy just went for a trip. You deserve that, buddy. You deserve that. Oh, what the hell? Ooh, is this one of the phalanx? I think I remember... Yeah, because I remember the phalanx boss. I've never actually seen it before besides, like, screenshots and stuff, but... Yeah, okay, so it takes more damage from the back because it's got a shield on the front. And we got a shot of hearts down. Cool! Isn't that what we need to upgrade our weapon? I think so. That's extremely handy. But, uh, oh, apparently they're weak against fire. Assuming that's what the message was talking about, but I would assume so. But yeah, anyway, so I think I remember the first boss being the Phalanx, because I remember there was uh, an enemy, well, like a group of enemies in the painted world of Ariamus in Dark Souls that was very similar, so... Yeah, I think the first boss is just a ginormous pile of these, which would make sense because they seem to have spears, and in the cutscene it chucked a spear through the gate, so... Oh, Turpentine applies fire to our weapon. That's extremely handy. I was looking for a firebomb, but that might be even better against the boss, so... Let's get that turbo down on the bar. Apparently we don't have any firebombs. This is concerning to me. I could have sworn we had some? I mean, I know we used a bunch, but I didn't think we used them all, but... You know, whatever. Either way, we have the turbo down, so hopefully that'll make the phalanx easier. I mean, you know, assuming the phalanx is indeed the first boss, and that the message was naturally lying to me, or at least referencing the boss, but... Yeah, I would assume so, and I, I swear to God, I've heard the phalanx is the first one, like, a million times, so... That has to be what we're about to fight here. And if nothing else, even if it's not weak to fire, you would think the turpentine can't do any harm, surely, unless it absorbs fire or something. That would be like the old Matrol, but I doubt it. Okay, and we do have a giant fog and apparently the spear's here. I was not expecting that. That's a nice touch, and that is absolutely humongous. Holy shit. Hopefully they're not quite that big when we're actually finding the dude, but I guess we'll see. Hey, you know what, before we go on, let's actually use the turpentine. This may be a waste like I say, but, you know, screw it. Okay, and it is indeed the phalanx, and yes, it does seem to be a ginormous pile of them. So yeah, here's the thing, one of them does a, quite a bit of damage, so we are gonna... Okay, yeah, that, that did really good. We are gonna have to be very careful here, because if I go running in, oh, I can actually hit the boss from here. That's handy. I'm kicking the shit out of it. Oh my god. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Like, if we get surrounded by a bunch of these dudes, they could probably murder me extremely quickly, so... Still gotta be careful here, but we have already half-killed the boss. Oh my god. The turpentine does so much damage. So much damage! And yeah, it looks like killing the little fellas doesn't actually take any HP away from the boss, but... If nothing else, it, you know, gives us more... Oh god. It gives us more survivability, so there's less enemies around to hit me. I don't know if they respawn. I have no friggin' idea. Wait a minute. How did the boss just get HP back? I... It definitely got HP back. Does it just regenerate really quickly or something? I am so confused right now. I don't know what the hell happened to make its HP come back. And that's kind of concerning to me, but... We're gonna use another, uh, tub of time, because... What the hell are we saving them for? I don't know, but... Looks like it's about to die either way, you regenerating son of a bitch. Get out of my sights. The demon was destroyed, and we revived. So yeah, I believe, yes, now we go back up to full HP, which is extremely handy, as you might imagine. So, I think, the, I like to say, there's a couple of ways of you returning to human form, or whatever the hell they call it in this game. One is by beating a boss, the other one is by using an item, but it's a consumable, and there's probably not very many of them, so... Really, when you're human, you probably want to do your damnedest not to actually die and waste it. And that's going to take us back to the Nexus, so very quickly, I want to see what's going on over in this direction. There appears to be more phalanxes. I assume that's what the little ones are? No, oh, God. Not just... Oh, Jesus! Not just the collective name of the big one. I am already regretting coming down here. Okay. Screw this nonsense. We're getting the boys out of here and going back to the Nexus. But, uh, yeah, I, like I say, I assume the phalanx is the name of all of them and not just the boss, but maybe they have a different name. I don't really know. Maybe they're Phalanx Jr. Screw it. Let's get the hell out of here.
Welcome back. Thanks. Did you miss me? The monumental awaits the above. The monumental will explain the nexus to thee. Well, I'm guessing from the dramatic camera pan that the monumental is gonna be a long, long way up. That's gonna suck. But hey, the Maiden in Black's actually here now, so I'm assuming we can finally do some leveling up. The monumental awaits the above. The monumental will explain the nexus to thee. Ah, okay. So I can't level up now, is what you're saying. Oh, good day to you. I can forge weapons for you, for a fair price. Yeah, I'll be the judge of that, buddy. What my definition of a fair price is in yours probably varies wildly. Hey, we actually have enough to upgrade our sword again to plus two. Let's do this shit. Might be better off going with a bastard sword, but screw it. Do come back alive. I need your business. Oh, well, thanks. It's nice to know that you care, even if it only is for my money. Anyway, let's talk to Blue Buddy. Still alive? I am impressed. Me too. This is something that might interest us. The black robed maiden of the Nexus looks after the flames. She's a morose type, with eyes occluded by wax. She can control souls like no other. Bring her the souls of men and demons. And she would embolden your flesh and blood with their power. Sweet. But beware. Do not devolve into a foul beast. Oh, but that sounds like fun. I want to devolve into a foul beast. Can I? What's happened? Have you lost your nerve? No matter. Have a seat. We can sit here forever. Creepy. At least we will be safe. <laughs> Even creepier. Okay, give me a moment here because I gotta go do some stuff and I will be right back and we'll try and find the monumental. Okay, I have returneth. Let's go. So I'm assuming this is apparently completely the wrong staircase to go up to get up higher. God damn it, brain. God damn it. But uh, yeah, I'm assuming that we have to go all the way to the top, and I don't know how big this place is, but it looks frankly bloody gigantic. Is there anything around here, like on these levels? It doesn't seem to be. Like, don't get me wrong, this place looks cool as shit. It may even be cooler than Filing Shrine. But like, it just seems a little bit overly large. Now, I, why are there bloodstains everywhere? Are people intentionally killing themselves? I. That dude is walking on air and glitching. Oh, there he goes. Anchor splats. Good times. So, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, like, I know you can get more NPCs here, exactly the way it works in Firelink Shrine, but I don't understand why this place is so bloody gigantic. Like, maybe there's, a, maybe there's like a million NPCs, and it makes sense, like, the scale of this place, but right now it just seems like a huge chore to run around here when you're looking for things on the upper levels. Down below, not so bad, but like up here, like, what the hell are we doing? What am I doing here, JJ? What am I doing here? And there's like, stairs that go up and down, I'm so confused. Is this back to where we what No, because there's loot. A stone of the ethereal emph eye? Something? I don't know. It's an eye. It's an eye stone, goddammit. They're like weird, sort of... They look kind of like Buddha puppets. I hope that's not racist, but... <laughs> they look like Buddha to me. So, uh, yeah, there's like weird puppet things everywhere, which is creepy. Everything here is creepy. So, yeah, about that monumental. How does, is, does, does the staircase go up? No, that goes down. Does this one go? Okay, we have another level here. So, hopefully the monumentals are, oh god, that's the brightest wall of all time. Hopefully the monumental is up here somewhere. Eventually, when we reach the top. Good lord. And we have a door. Touch the door of Pantheon. Okay, we've touched the door of Pantheon. And... Ah, I think I know what this is. This is like, uh, sort of like high scores and stuff. Like, you can see, uh, top PvPers and stuff, but... 
as I understand it, pretty much everyone the top is hacking, so these are kind of pointless. But yeah, I think they're just basically different high scores. But yeah, anyways, here's the problem. I very much doubt the Monumental's gonna be around here, like I'm checking just to make sure, but... It doesn't make much sense that the person we have to speak to to progress the game would be where the high scores are. Maybe they are, I don't really know, but yeah, I'm not exactly finding anything here, so... I, uh, I may have to do a cut here until I can actually find the damn Monumental, cause... Yeah, right now, I'm kinda confused as shit. I'm in trouble, please recommend this message. Now, get out of my sights. I guess we'll check over here, because this is like the last damn direction, and if it's not here, then... Yeah, I don't know. There's some booty. At least there's that. Okay, what do we get? Another one of those ice stones. Cool! Right, so, uh... I should probably check, first of all, what these things do. Oh, okay, so these are the items that we need to turn ourselves back into a human from soul form. That's handy. At least now we know. We only have two of them, which... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can burn those things so damn quickly, and then you're kind of in trouble. Anyway, I'm gonna keep looking around for the Monumental, and I guess I'll bring you back in when I find it, cause... Clearly, I've missed it somewhere. Okay, sometime later, I finally found the damn thing! One of these random Buddha puppets has a lit candle. Admittedly, I probably should have seen that, but still. It's just in a random direction, it's not even centralized. I don't get it, but... Whatever, we found it. We have long awaited you, Slayer of Demons. I'll bet. I am one of the Monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. There is something thou needest to know. Once, we too, a scourge of demons, faced. We've long awaited you. Well, if you were easier to find... In the distant past, under a benevolent rule, the world was united, owing to the soul arts. Until a lust for power caused the awakening of the Old One. Across the land seeped a colorless deep fog, and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be, we were able to lull the Old One back to his slumber, yet only after the loss of innumerable souls and half the world lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six elders with six precious arch stones. One to the king of a small yet diligent land. One to the king of the burrowers underground. One the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One to the shaman of the tempest-worshipping shadowmen. And the last to the great giants of the northern lands. The archstones were placed at nodes across the earth. We contained the Old One inside this Nexus, and banned the Soul Arts. Finally, we became Monumentals, half-living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other Monumentals have perished, and only I remain. And you look creepy as all hell. But yeah, anyway, it sounds like there's probably gonna be five levels, maybe six? I'm sure I heard that there were six. By the power of the Monumentals, the four sealed arch stones have been released. Now it is your turn. You must lull the Old One back to its slumber, and seal it away for all eternity. If not, the deep fog will absorb all that we know. Have you the strength to accept this mission? Now, actually, I've changed my mind. Really? <laughs> they actually ask you? What happens if you say no? Uh, but anyway, screw it. Yes. Yes. We are fortunate indeed to have you. Damn right. Now, go forth and destroy every last demon. Can do. The old one, without demons to feed its souls, will a new servant seek and lure you to its bosom. What kind of bosom? 
Okay, never mind. Can I talk to you again? Yes, I can. We neutralized the old one and banned the soul arts. Then we spread the archstones, and in order to mend reality, monumentals we became. I see. However, man's memory of history is o'er short, and before long, he repeated his mistakes. The monumentals perished, and the archstones were long forgotten. And the short-sighted King Alant once again aroused the old one. Kinky! I can't help but feel all of a sudden it's just sounding very sexual. The monumentals perished, and the archstones were long forgotten. And the short-sighted... No, you already said that, I'm sorry. I kind of mentally zoned out there. Okay, very quickly before we end the video, let's go back to the Maiden in Black and see if she can actually level us up now, because... I want to do some damn leveling up before we die and lose our souls. Now, I'm assuming we can just probably pop the boss souls that we got, just like in Dark Souls. But I'm also going to assume that you can probably use those to make weapons and shields and, you know, maybe armor. I don't really know, but... Yeah, for now, we're going to hold on to them until I actually know the purpose of them, besides giving us souls, because... I'm assuming they can do that, but... Probably not the best use of them. Brave soul, who fears not death. Prithee, lull the old one back to its ancient slumber. I know I get the picture, lull the old one. Hey, we get a blue and I a, a blue and white ice stone. Ice stones temporarily connect the diffused worlds. Should you lose your physical form, remember the ice stone. Remember the eye. The maiden uh, controls inhuman souls. Their power allows her to aid those who slay demons, like me. What is it? Dost thou seek soul power? Yes. More power. Yeah, give me that power. So be it. After all, thou requirest strength. True that. Go forth. Touch the demon inside me. Okay, baby. Let these ownerless souls become thine own. Was that some kind of a metaphor for sex? Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted, so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Yes, quite so. Anyway, we're gonna get some vitality, just cause it's gonna keep us alive longer. And yes, we have just enough to get 15. Cool! As for me, I am only here to tend to the flames. I keep the candles lit and serve the brave demon slayers who are trapped here. It puts the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. I keep the candle. Art thou done? May thine strength help the world be mended. Yes, quite so. In other words, kill shits. Can do. Alrighty, I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it was appreciated. Like, and I'll see you next time for more Demon Souls.